pretty small sensor. I think it's one 5.8 sensor. And for the most part, everything on it is um, automatic. And um, this is my Sony Z90 and my Sony A7 III. And um, so I've got the um, everything on automatic and we'll just see uh, how things go as the light fades. It is currently It is currently 818 and that is uh, five minutes past sunset. So uh, we're here in North Carolina and uh, we'll just watch and see how, uh, how the cameras react and uh, how things look uh, as the light fades. So here in North Carolina we're allowed to hunt till 30 minutes after sunset so um, let's see which cameras make it that long so it is 819 that's six minutes past sunset here in North Carolina and I have got three cameras set up here maybe trying to see uh, what kind of differences we'll see as the light fades so first camera is a Sony Handycam PJ 670 which is has a very small sensor it's one and 5.8 uh, inch uh, pretty small sensor and for the most part everything on it is set up as automatic and there's not much else I can change. Next camera is the Sony Z90 and this is a one inch sensor and uh, I've got it set on uh, 24p with um, everything else being automatic and the aperture's already run down to 4 and the ISO just in the last couple of minutes has bumped up from 3200 to 5000. Uh, the next camera is my a7 III which has a full frame sensor but the lens I have on it is an APS-C lens so it's an automatic crop sensor mode so it uh, would be not unlike the a6000 series uh, but with a better sensor. So it is also <clears throat> 24p and uh, the aperture's down to four, and uh, the ISO is automatic, and you can see my meter is even. So we'll see how these things look um, as the light fades.
All right, it is 8.26, 13 minutes after sunset. And um, I decided to zoom in so that uh, we can maybe see a few more of the uh, artifacts in the video. I can clearly see already that I'm getting some grain and some noise on the Sony PJ670 Handycam. So, uh, and already getting to see some effects of um, what's going on with uh, the Z90 and uh, the A7 III doesn't look too bad, but a lot of this is difficult to see on these um, viewfinders. So, what I might do is, um, I'm not sure if the ISO is going to bump up on these anymore or not. Um, I might would have to induce some gain because it, it might have a threshold when it's set onto automatic because this one has not, although it's gotten darker, the uh, Z90 set on auto has not uh, bumped up higher than 5,000. So. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the a um, lot of grain and noise going on with the Sony Handycam. What happens when auto ISO is blinking? It can't hang? Well, automatic ISO will eventually stop going down because it'll mess up the footage. So on this one, I want to record this, so, okay? All right, so on the A7 III, it is now telling me that it's at its limit on ISO. Now let's go up and manually change it up, which probably will induce uh, some noise. So as we go and watch it, the uh, viewfinder lighten up, I guess we're gonna start seeing some noise And you can see now on my Z90, the focus is starting, the automatic focus is starting to struggle in the low light. You didn't see it, but I saw it showing on the screen. There it goes. It's, it's having trouble in the low light. So if on automatic focus uh, in this low light, you might have some issues with. So let's try to run this ISO up like we did on the other one here. See if we can get to, whoops. Now I can definitely see some, at 8,000, I can start definitely see some noise uh, starting on it. And uh, it is, uh, while it's still, you know, on the viewfinder here, you can still see um, the animal, my target here. There's a lot of noise going on. So, I have uh, 
ISO on these cameras just boosts the voltage through the sensor for the pixels and your so this one I'm definitely getting some uh, noise I can see even on the viewfinder and on the a7 III I see a little bit but um, I don't see a, a whole lot now if I was hunting in a field this would be my situation if I was hunting in the woods like in North Carolina before the um, leaves fall off which they don't fall off until the first week in November uh, I would be climbing down by now uh, and it would have long since put my camera away and it is currently It is currently 8.30, and it's only 17 minutes past sunset, so uh, most of the time I get questions on um, filming from sunset to the end of legal shooting light, and oftentimes uh, I don't even make it that long. Um, if I was hunting a field and I had this much light, shooting a recurve um, with no sights and a peep sight I could probably shoot a deer 10-15 yards and have had them come out um, at this time before but I had long since closed my camera up and pushed my camera arm away So it's 8.33 now, 20 minutes past. Um, I do see a little bit going on with uh, the A7. I don't know if I can possibly run the ISO back down some more. Take a little bit of the graininess and noise out, but it looks pretty good now. Uh, my ISO, I ran my ISO up, and you can see it's still struggling with autofocus. I ran my ISO up on the Z90. Um, if I put it back down, um, or even if I raise it up, it's at 8,000 and still less than uh, the A7, and I can clearly see noise and grain going on. And uh, this is where we are with the Handycam, and you can clearly see um, all its noise and grain. Um, so you can see clearly the A7 III compared to the Z90 compared to the Handycam. We, um, so this is no surprise here, but um, I'm just wondering how well these compare to each other. And I think it's going to be clearly apparent that the A7 III with the sensor so much larger than this, even the Z90 um, and we're still not at the end of legal shooting light yet so like I was saying before by the time it gets this dark I have usually put my camera away and move my camera arm out of the way completely uh, in preparation for possibly having a shot 
come in close to the tree in the last 10, 15 minutes of legal shooting light with my recurve. I don't look through a peep sight, I'm not looking through a scope um, or open sights. Of course, a scope would be um, gather more light and might help, but with a recurve, um, I do get uh, this might be the end of my uh, hunting. Uh, even if I was hunting with a recurve, because it's gotten pretty dark out here. With my failing eyesight, I do have to, uh, um, uh, even with a recurve, where I shoot instinctively, could be an issue. Yeah, he can, um, he can stay the night if he wants to, too. So, what time do you have to help, Kirsten? Where? Well, ain't no y'all. Your mom is working on the thing, but she has to do it. All right, well, let me call you back. I'm trying to finish up recording something, so. All right, bye. All right, it is 8.41. I still have two minutes of legal shooting light. My A7 III has still got, uh, you can see, uh, the ISO is struggling. It doesn't, it's already, it's telling me I, I got a problem with it. Uh, the Z90 uh, is already um, let's see it, it just can't hang at all anymore. And then of course the there's so, I mean, 